The numbers and figures, I was pulling your puzzles. This is the song Scientist. Nobody said it was easy. Join me in my studio where I'll walk you through my song creation process and the equipment I work with, as well as mixing and engineering techniques that have shaped the sound of Coldplay. share with you how I begin a new project in Ableton, how I went from this phone recording to this. Using synths, modulars, plugins and techniques I've learned over the years. I want to make it a bit faster and have it coming from a synth. So let's add some uh, of these guitar pedal effects to the Prophet. with melodies is to add counterpoints to the foundations and just stuff that's going to bring people in. This is a really clever plugin that not many people know about. And if you want more top end, what I do is take the low end out and turn it up, which is effectively adding more top end, but you're not boosting any frequencies. You're not getting any harshness from processing something by boosting. I've just finished a live mix for um, the Coldplay guys. You'll get an exclusive look into how I mix Coldplay's live version of The Scientist on their 2022 tour. And these are both good frequencies for most male vocalists actually to be aware of and duck out if, if they're getting too boomy or boxy. Now I was just guessing the numbers and figures. All this and so much more in my Owl Art Masterclass. Apart.